Hey musicians, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to tune your guitar. So the first thing you're gonna need is a tuner, of course. I'm gonna be going over three of the most popular tuners that I know. So the first type of tuner we have is the iPhone app tuner. The way these tuners work is by using the microphone from your phone to capture the sound of your guitar. The second type of tuner we have is the headstock tuner. This type of tuner attaches to the headstock of your guitar. And some of these have microphones, but some of these also use the vibrations of you playing the string in order to tune your instrument. The next type of tuner we have, and this one is my personal favorite, is the tuner slash metronome. These have microphones that can be used to capture the sound of your guitar. And they also have an input where you can plug your guitar into it like an amp. That's one of the features that makes this type of tuner my favorite. Because unlike the two previous tuners, with this one, you don't have to tell people to stop playing so that you can hear or so that you can tune up. You just plug it in and then the display will just show you the sound that's coming straight from your guitar. Now that you have your tuner picked out, let me show you how to tune your guitar. So you're gonna be using the tuning pegs on the headstock of your guitar to change the pitch of each string. The way that you do this is by just turning it left or right to change the pitch. Each string corresponds with the tuning peg. It might be a little confusing to tell which string corresponds with which tuning peg. And an easy way to figure that out is by following the string to the tuning peg. That way you'll know which tuning peg to change. So right now I have my guitar connected to my tuner with a cord, as you can see. So now I'm gonna turn on the tuner. All right. So the first thing you wanna make sure of is that your tuner is set to 440 Hertz. That's the standard for tuning. The next thing that you wanna do is play a string. I usually start with the lowest string and then go to the highest string. The next thing you wanna make sure of is that when you play a string, it displays the right note. So I'm tuning to the E string first. I wanna make sure that when I play it, it displays E. So let me play it. And it's displaying D sharp. So now I'm gonna turn the tuning peg of the E string until it displays E. So now it displayed E. When you're making sure that the tuner displays the right note, you wanna make sure that you're following this scale that I have below. It's called the chromatic scale. So for example, if you're tuning E and it says F on your tuner, you wanna go lower so that it displays E. If you're tuning A and it says A sharp, you want to go lower so that it displays A. If you're tuning D and it says C sharp, you want to go higher so that it displays D. Just follow this scale right here and you'll be able to tell which note comes after the other. And when I turned the tuning peg, I didn't even turn it a full rotation. A little bit goes a long way when you're turning the tuning peg. And just to show you guys, this is how much I was turning it. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Not even a full quarter of a rotation. Unless your strings are really out of tune, you really don't need to turn it like a whole entire like that. That's what a lot of beginners do. And I'm like, you just need to turn it just a little bit. Adjust, play it, adjust, play it, 
adjust a little bit, play it. So now that it displays the right letter, you can see that there's a bar at the top. You want the bar at the top to be directly in the middle. So let me play that again, and then I'm gonna adjust it so that the bar at the top is directly in the middle. Now it's a little bit too low, so I'm gonna turn it the opposite way. And my tuner lights up green when you got the bar in the middle, but all tuners work like that. You have to make sure it's set to 440. When you play a string, you wanna make sure that it first displays the right letter then you want to adjust the bar at the top to be in the middle while displaying the right letter. Let's move on to the A string. So right now it says A sharp. So I'm going to turn the tuning peg so that it will display an A. So now it displays A, so now I have to just focus on the bar. So just a little bit lower. Now my tuner is green, indicating that it's at the right pitch. Let's go on to the D string. So that one is displaying C sharp. I want it to display D. So keep in mind that I'm turning the tuner just a little bit. I'm just turning the tuning peg. It's not even a full quarter of a rotation. And I'm just moving it up a little bit. You see how? So now it's turning green. That means I'm good. Every time I play it, it's turning green right there. So that means it's good. When you play it a couple times and it's green, that means you're good. Now let's go to the G string. So we want it to display G, not G sharp. So we're going to go lower so it can display G. Now it's displaying G. Now we want the bar to move from the right to the middle. So just turn it a little bit so that it displays G. Once you play it a couple times and it's green, it's displaying the bar in the middle, that means you're good. Now let's go to B. That displays C, so you wanna turn it until it says B. Now it says B, let's make sure that the bar is in the middle. And that's perfect. Now let's do high E. That one already displays E, so let's just make sure that the bar is in the middle. Perfect.